Ever asked yourself if the traditional 4 sets of 12 workout routine is the best way to build muscle? You might be surprised to learn that this time-honored approach to training isn't always the most effective way to get the results you're after. Let's take a moment to unpack the traditional 4 sets of 12 workout routine. It's a method that's been around for decades, a staple in many gym goers' routines. The idea is simple, perform 4 sets of 12 repetitions for each exercise in your workout. This approach is often touted as the sweet spot for muscle growth, offering a balance between volume and intensity. But here's the thing, while this method can certainly help you build muscle, it's not without its drawbacks. One of the main issues with the 4 sets of 12 approach is the lack of variety. When you're doing the same number of sets and reps for every exercise, you're essentially treating all muscle groups the same. But not all muscles are created equal, some may need more volume, others less. There's also the risk of overuse injuries. When you're constantly pushing your muscles to perform the same number of sets and reps, you're placing a lot of strain on them. Over time, this can lead to overuse injuries, which can sideline you from your workouts and impede your progress. Another potential pitfall of the 4 sets of 12 routine is that it can lead to a plateau. When your body gets used to the same routine, it can stop responding. That's why it's so important to mix things up, to keep your muscles guessing and growing. So while the traditional 4 sets of 12 workout routine can certainly be effective, it's not necessarily the best approach for everyone. It's a one-size-fits-all method in a world where one size rarely fits all. But what if there was a more effective way to train, a way to maximize your results and minimize your risk of injury? Stay tuned as we delve into an alternative approach in the next scene. After all, variety is the spice of life, and that's as true in the gym as it is anywhere else. Consider this. Focusing on two to three exercises per muscle group instead. Now you might be wondering why you should limit yourself to just two or three exercises per muscle group. Well, the answer lies in the quality of your workout, not the quantity. When you focus on just a handful of exercises, you're able to give your full attention to each one. You can really hone in on your form, your technique, and your mind-muscle connection. This focus allows you to get the most out of each rep, each set, and ultimately, each workout. Now let's talk about variety. Sticking to two or three exercises doesn't mean you're stuck doing the same thing over and over again. Quite the contrary. It allows you to rotate exercises, targeting your muscles from different angles, and keeping your workouts fresh and exciting. But what about overuse injuries? These are common among gym goers who tend to overdo it with too many sets or exercises. By limiting your exercises to two or three per muscle group, you're reducing the risk of these injuries. You're giving your body a chance to recover, to heal, and to grow stronger. And let's not forget about muscle development and strength gains. When you focus on a few key exercises, you're targeting your muscles more effectively. You're not spreading your energy thin across a multitude of exercises. Instead, you're pouring your power into a select few, leading to better muscle development and stronger strength gains. So, greater results with less risk of injury. Sounds good, right? But how do you implement this into your routine? Well, that's a conversation for our next scene. Stay tuned and remember it's not about doing more, it's about doing better. Start by going super hard on the first set with about 4 to 8 reps, then still hard on the second set with about 9 to 12 reps. This approach is all about intensity. It's about pushing your muscles to their limit and then giving them the rest they need to recover and grow stronger. When we talk about intensity in a workout, we're referring to how much effort you're putting into each set. It's not about how long you're in the gym or how many sets you do, it's about how hard you push yourself during those sets. This is where the concept of progressive overload comes into play. Progressive overload is the gradual increase of stress placed upon the body during exercise. It's one of the fundamental principles for success in any resistance training program and it's especially important in the 2-3 to three exercise approach. Here's how it works. In your first set, you're pushing your muscles hard. You're lifting heavy. You're really feeling the burn. Then, in your second set, you're still working hard, but you're doing a few more reps. This is where the progressive overload comes in. You're challenging your muscles in a different way, pushing them to adapt and grow stronger. But don't forget about the importance of rest and recovery in this approach. It's easy to get caught up in the intensity of the workout and forget that our muscles need time to recover. In fact, it's during this recovery period that our muscles actually grow. So after pushing yourself hard in your sets, make sure you're giving your muscles the rest they need. 
This approach is not about exhausting yourself. It's not about leaving the gym feeling completely wiped out. It's about stimulating your muscles for growth. It's about working smarter, not harder. So remember, start by going super hard on the first set with four to eight reps, then still hard on the second set with nine to 12 reps. Push yourself, but also give your muscles the rest they need. Remember, the goal here is not to exhaust yourself, but to stimulate your muscles for growth. Finally, aim for about 12 to 18 sets per muscle group each week. This volume is the sweet spot, the perfect balance between intensity and volume. It's about working smarter, not harder. Overdoing it can lead to overtraining, burnout, even injury. On the flip side, doing too little won't stimulate your muscles enough to grow and strengthen. Now think of your training as a symphony. Each set, each rep, is a note in your masterpiece. You're the maestro. You control the tempo, the intensity, the volume. Too many notes and the music becomes chaos. Too few and it's barely a melody. The same goes for your training. You need the right balance to create something truly beautiful, something that pushes you, challenges you, but doesn't break you. Now, you're ready to break from the traditional four sets of 12 and embrace a more effective way of training. Give this new routine a try and share your experiences in the comments below. Remember, progress takes time, so be patient and consistent. And as always, stay strong and keep pushing.